discomfort thresholds. So what most people tend to do when they're working out is they tend to kind of go through the motions and stop, not when they reach full failure, but when their brain tells their body to shut off because it's tired and wants to preserve energy. Your brain is actually gonna stop you about 60% of your capacity. You still have another 40% that your body can take you to where your brain, before your brain is shutting you off. So you have to learn to mentally don't listen to that part in your brain that's telling you, hey, we gotta quit, we're tired, we don't feel good, we gotta stop right now, we gotta preserve energy. You have to learn how to turn that off, and when you do that, you're gonna be able to go to full failure. And this is not done overnight, this is something you have to practice day in and day out. The problem is, when you're not going to full failure, you're not going to get the same fat loss benefit, fat burning benefit, and lean muscle mass gaining. What you're trying to do when you're trying to lose body fat and gain muscle mass, you're trying to change hormones. When you take your body to the deepest level of failure possible, that is gonna upregulate growth hormone and testosterone, and you're gonna lose body fat and gain muscle mass faster. That is the best way. You change hormones, go to full failure, and you will get the best results. It's as simple as that. Don't listen to your body turning you off at 60%. Go full 100%. You cannot move whatsoever. That is how you're gonna get the best results.